Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to talk about the news that broke today regarding the PS5. Let's get started. And before I get into any of the details, no, this is not the PS5 right there. That is just a markup uh, that someone has done, just a little concept, uh, and it's been floating around the internet. So in a nutshell, Sony filed a patent today, or at least we found out they filed a patent in Japan. And I'll leave a link to this in the description below. If we click on the patent link, it brings us to more Japanese text and also a diagram. So this is the flowchart uh, that everyone is talking about right now. And if you can break it down, it's got some very interesting information. So it starts out each little box here in a flowchart has a meaning. For example, this uh, diamond box, this is a decision area. So if we start at the beginning, it says processor ID request from application. Then it goes to legacy application with a question mark. Yes or no. So if it's yes, it says returns spoofed processor ID. Now what this diagram is telling you is how their CPU is going to function. So the legacy application question mark decision area and the return spoofed processor ID are two very, very big factors. So the legacy application would mean, for example, an old PS4, maybe a PS3 game. And then the return spoofed processor ID would essentially be the spoofed or legacy processor in there that tricks the game into think it's running on the older system. Now there were articles written about this and some of them have some speculation in there. Uh, this is a translation on Reddit. It's on our PS4 and this was done on a Spanish news website that took a look at the patent filing. Now overall you can really dig into this flowchart if you want. Uh, in my opinion there's really not enough information to know the very specifics. So we'll see how this pans out uh, in the future when they have more news on the PS5 but for right now it looks like they do intend on making it backward compatible. I just don't know with what systems at this time. Will it be a PS4? Will it be a PS3? A PS2? A PS1? I'm not quite sure. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button and check out my other videos. Also, let me know what you think about this news in the comments below. Uh, we don't really have enough uh, news at this point. We don't have a lot, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that the PS5 is backwards compatible. Anyways, thank you everyone. Take care.